All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So, more disappointing news. More disappointing news that has just came out like 15 seconds ago here by Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network. He's reporting that starting safety LaMarcus Joyner, a player who left yesterday's game, by the way, with an apparent elbow injury, has torn a tendon in his arm and is pending further tests, likely done for the year. Likely done for the year. Absolutely unbelievable. The amount of injuries that this team has sustained. We're, we're only through one week of the NFL season, and I feel like this team is decimated, is decimated by injuries. I don't understand it. I feel like every time this team takes the field, practice, joint practice, preseason, and now regular season, we lose multiple players. Unreal. I mean, because it wasn't just LaMarcus Joyner who got hurt in yesterday's game either. It was also Makai Becton and Jamie and Sherwood and Braden Mann on top of LaMarcus Joyner. I don't understand what's happening. I truly don't get it. I mean, we're, we're coming off of a two-win season. We're starting a rookie quarterback. We have a brand new, you know, essentially a rookie coaching staff. We play in a really tough division. The Jets already have a lot of a lot of stuff working against them here. So to have the, this amount of injuries is, it's a gut punch. It's a gut punch for sure. Unbelievable. Lamar, and I was really excited about LaMarcus Joyner as well, man. I mean, yeah, he's a little undersized and yeah, he's coming off of a down season with Oak, or with uh, Las Vegas, but they essentially asked him to play nickel corner last year. And yeah, he could do that, but that's not really his prime. That's not really his go-to, his natural position. It was safety. And yeah, he's a versatile player. He could play, you know, either safety position, he, uh, heartbeat. I mean, really going back to Florida State, this guy was electric. But, you know, to, to lose a guy like that, and he only signed a one-year contract, it's a blow. It is a blow. So the only thing that we can do now is move forward, is move forward. So we have to take a look at the safety position in this cover four, cover three system that Salah likes to run. I mean, it's extremely important. The safety position isn't just some throwaway position that we could just, you know, run whoever we uh, run whoever we want out there. We just can't do that. The safety position has to be able to A, cover ground, and B, can you play downhill and be able to wrap up an open field? I mean, those two points are huge. So we're looking at the roster. Marcus May, he is one of those safety positions locked down. I feel great about May, even though, I mean, the future with May in New York is obviously up in the air, but that's neither here nor there. Marcus May is here for now, okay, and that's what matters. Marcus May, I feel really, really good about him. The other safety position, though, can go in a bunch of different ways. Could it be third round pick a year ago, Ashton Davis? Possibly. Could it be Sheldrick Redwine, a guy who I actually really, really liked uh, coming over from Cleveland? I felt like the Jets uh, got a steal with Red Ron, uh, with Redwine. I, I felt like yesterday, I mean, obviously yesterday he had some playing time and he looked solid. The the one huge negative play was where he, he kind of got ca um, caught in quicksand and it was the play where uh, Donald hit Robbie Anderson on the uh, play action. Redwine just was standing there, just feet made of stone. And then it was an obvious TD, right? Right over the top. But... I still like Redwine. He was a beast back at Miami, and I felt like with Cleveland, uh, just kind of was the odd man out at the safety position. Obviously, they brought in Johnson, and uh, they drafted Del Pitt a little higher, but Redwine was still a fourth-round pick. So at the end of the day, I, I feel good about Redwine. Obviously, Mays, you know, checks the box awesome. Ashton Davis, I just don't know because I haven't really seen a ton, a ton of that. So I don't really, I can't really, ins like, put in uh, or really have a lot of confidence in Davis. Um, maybe we bring back a JT Hassel for depth. I, I felt like he had a solid preseason uh, in game two and game three. Maybe Bennett Jackson as well, but I feel like for the immediate future, it'll probably be Davis or Redwan. And then of course, Marcus May. So, <sighs> gosh, the Marcus Joyner out for the year. Well, likely out for the year. Hopefully, you know, we have a miracle here and he comes back, but at this point, I don't know. At this point, I don't know. So the injuries just keep on stacking up. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. LaMarcus Joyner, likely done for the year. And as always, go Jets.